check out this surprise mini mart oh my gosh honey order what does it say honey order money order oh no money order <laughs> and this is hilarious look at this surprise surprise mini mart all right we are in at Old Torf in Fifth, which is South Congress area, right? Look at that surprise mini, surprise laundry. The surprise laundry right next to the surprise mini bar. Once it's sunrise. Oh, is it sunrise? Well, look at this later and see. All right, welcome to Candid Travels, Texas. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where we're gonna go this week. We will see. We're gonna head south. As you can see, there's tons of cumulus everywhere here. We're seeing tons of these type of deals where you have the Nevada plates and out-of-state plates, people moving here in droves. And as you can see, there's cumulus nimbus clouds here. That means that it's going to eventually rain in the next couple of days, so we'll head south. Ah, not to the border, but south to the beach. I think we'll see where we end up. Now, welcome to Candid Travels, Texas. Okay, I gotta do that, right? It's a television show. And today, I wanna share with the ATX iTech family the humidity awareness tactic. <laughs> Allison is like, hey, <laughs> why? Okay, when you have your humidity awareness tactic it's not only good for like all around tactical life biohack but it also help you understand your air conditioning units okay and in Texas you got to understand your air conditioning unit. okay so most people look at the temperature okay they don't look at pressure centers and they don't look at humidity levels now those other factors is going to determine how you as a human being will interact with your terrain your all terrain internal tactical arts collective will be affected by those factors so today I'm just going to talk about the tactic of humidity awareness all right depending on whether it's cold and humid or hot and humid or hot and dry and cold and dry your situation will be different okay internally in your body as well as what your comfort levels are now regarding whether you're comfortable at with a certain situation is purely based upon a lot of it has to do with your where you grew up some people say it's genetics I, I don't believe so I don't believe it's genetics okay it's it, human beings we are very adaptable we're more adaptable than than Hi, plants, plants and animals. So we can adapt to almost any situation. However, if we grew up in a certain area, maybe some people may have a harder time adapting to something different from what they grew up with. Okay, so for example, depending on the humidity, the thermometer may see a certain temperature, but, but it may say a certain temperature. However, it may feel different. So let's say you're, it says the 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 31 degrees Fahrenheit. With the humidity higher, it's more bearable than if the humidity is lower, okay? Now, being aware of that will also allow you to know what your body can and can't do uh, in, in, in operating your life and in combat. So that's something to keep in, in, in mind, okay? Also, also keep in mind, and I know this is for most people, this will not be a popular uh, statement. I know Master Allison doesn't like what I'm about to say. What am I about to say, Master Allison? <laughs> what am I about to say? Something you're not going to like. It's the womb thing. We all come from a womb, right? Humidity is good. Well, I didn't say it's good. But you have to think, as human beings and mammals... We are actually 
originating in a very what is it a humid terrain we come out of or a dry one yeah you're inside your mother's womb surrounded by plasma ultra filtrate right yours and your mother's that's wet we go from a very humid or wet world into a dry one and so no matter how much you like you hate humidity uh, most people hey this is for Adam the woo I know you watch once in a while I know you hate the humidity but brother uh, you may be as handsome and, and good-looking and smart because you grew up around Tupelo Mississippi and Central Florida where it's nice and humid okay humidity is what human beings can survive and thrive in that is why areas of the world that are very very dry and very arid and hot is called Death Valley okay all right humidity awareness tactic that is an ATX ITAC principle that it's going to be different from everywhere else yeah and um, being aware is very important okay it does involve electromagnetic function as well and as you know when we do bioenergy ki chi prana mana that's all bioenergy so our environment humidity all that affects that type of thing your strength levels your ability to breathe etc etc okay so also you'll be able to understand your air conditioning unit much better if you have a humidity awareness all right love it everyone's on the road is master allison on camera today that's a not that's a negative <laughs> but she did talk how you doing with the humidity nowadays? I'm, I've gotten more used to it. Yeah, she's gotten used to it. Of course, that's why. Hey, we got a moped over here. Rich Crimmer. All right, let's see where we end up. Aloha from Texas. Presbyterian Church, Faith Church. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's too funny nearly as much as it should is just how your clouds now let's, let's, out. let's come to an agreement or blue sky so as we go south where we yeah. said why don't we get a strange cloud pattern right there it's strict see it or not it's kind of hard to see on the camera pull back very strange it's that time again. That time again. Welcome, everybody. There it is. Some of you guys may know him from D Live. Right I know there, like a lot of the D Live crowd will, but pull back. This right in the YouTube, center of the screen. D Live. Weird. Cloud you know Guys like that, Mike. Right there. Uh, second zooming in. half of the show tonight. Solid top five. Wow, look at that the, sky, the man. Show its fame, so to speak. Big the clouds in Texas. It's in action. Look at that. Back in Galveston, Texas. Let's look at some of these flowers. Blue shield. Here's where the flower. We're back at Galveston Island. Turn left at the traffic yep. line. Where will we go? No flowers. We're at a nice, cool 99 degree Fahrenheit outside. Nice and cool. Uh -huh. Oh boy. We are approaching 
what you select. Look at all these palm trees. Look, they really built this up. I can't get over it. Remember there was just a parking lot here in 2012? Oh. Yeah. Look at this. Where will we end up? At Moody Garden. It's pretty hot and sunny out there, so either I'm wearing a hat, which is back there, or, for now, more convenient, my Jedi hood. There we go. Jedi hood. Alright, Jedi hood. Looking for parking. Whoa. Kitties are here. Moody Aquarium. Okay, when I'm around others, mask is going on. Alright, I am wearing a mask so that people can see that I am wearing a mask. And here it is. The blue with shampoo. All right. Yay, good job, Ready to go. It's like a automatic cosplay here, huh? Look, check this out. Jedi with a mask, look at this. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah. Let's go. We're ready to go. Yeah. By the way, Power Bar Plus is actually the body gym by Marie Osmond now. Yeah. Ask me about the backstory. I'm not going to say it's it publicly. A very interesting sunshade for the car. Look at that. I like that. Peripheral vision's okay, but I use the force. And we are at the aquarium at Moody Gardens. Yeah, spread your wings. Face masks are now to see. Into the cloud blue yonder. Up we go. Look at that. I'm so sure this is Check out how much stuff they have here. The Scarby Museum. 20,000 leagues. Colonel. Oh, it's me. Visit a center. Oh, Rainforest, 3D and 4D. Yeah. Listen to the mood music. You got Look at that. We are doing the aquarium and rainforest. Aquarium closes at five o'clock. Oh yeah. I'm in the shade now. Off with the Jedi hood. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Please wash your hands. All right. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Ha. Ah. Pretty cool, huh? We all live in the yellow submarine. Look at the propeller. Whoa! Shaw! Roger toes above. Dang! Galveston, Texas. That's nice. Look at that. Pretty cool. Oops. Look at that shark. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> we all live in a yellow or white submarine. <laughs> yeah, we're inside the pyramid right now. Thank you, Barbara. Hey! Mask off, take a picture, but. I want to show you the roof. That's the, we're inside that pyramid you saw just now. Pretty cool. And look at the, I, I suppose these are parana. Are they? Let's see. Look down. Sele vol mer. No, I guess not. I'm wrong. Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, that's right. That is so neat. Back. We've missed you. It's great to see you again. The Vata. Welcome Mexico. Cruise ship.
Shing. King penguins. Soft Atlantic one. Oh my gosh. Wow. They're actually pretty tall. She's feeding them big fish. This is good. Wow. Oh my gosh, Allison, they're like little like dogs. That emperor can't hardly move, but he made his way up there to eat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's like feeding dogs. Look at the big fish. That's amazing. Wow, these are emperor penguins. Skyman used to have a emperor penguin stuffed animal and called called him Skipper. See the movie Venice, right? Yeah, then she's stuffed. Look at that guy. He's like challenging the other one. It's pretty funny. <laughs> These are the smaller ones. Wow, this one by himself. <laughs> <That's too funny. laughs> like torpedoes. Babies are behind them. I can zoom in with the camera and you can see it. Yeah. I can, you can only see it through the camera. You see that? See them? They're behind the mesh, the babies. Penguin chick. Cleopatra hatch in February. And cold around down. King penguin. Gentoo penguin, Kinstrap penguin, Macaroni penguin. We're under the water now. We're under the sea and we can see them on the other Ow. <laughs> that is neat. Oh my gosh, you can see everything from here. That is cool. Hello, buddy. King penguin, flightless bird. They fly underwater. Bald eagle, flighted bird. Big difference. Nice. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh. Look, look. You can look up. You see the surface oh, of the water. Kind of like little mermaid. La 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 la
structures serve as artificial reefs. Fourth president of Kiribati, Tiny Island Nation. Six feet above sea level. <clears throat> Master Allison likes how these move. Comment below. Fish doctor. Oh. We're above where we just saw the underwater. So cute. Alright. That's what it looks like on top. <laughs> Alright. Wow. Woo. That's nice. I know it's not real, but it feels pretty nice. It feels like you're eating on the floor. Yep, I see it. You are right. You are right. You are right. See the shark like on the surface. Look, 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 the fin sticking up like in jaws. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Oh wow, look. Dun 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 
So we've come above water. We're above sea level now. Jellyfish, Patrick. <laughs> oh, jellyfish. Look at that one. Oh yeah, those lights really show, make them see like their their internal organs and stuff. Look at that ball. Look at that ball right there. The moon jellyfish. Yes, Master Allison's voice only today, right? Yes. She looks great. Watch this video and zone out, man, and enjoy. Look at that ball. Look at all the jellyfish underneath. The technical term for this is snotty hair. Looks like snot. It does. Wow, look at that snot. Look at the fine hairs. They're all paired up. These two are paired up. All this is in the Gulf of Texas? Gulf of Mexico. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I know. Put my head right here. Okay. Uh, there, I did it for me. You're not in the shot. Oh, look at that. Purple. It's turning purple now. Look, look, look. So it changes colors. You're huge. Huge, I tell you. Huge. Pacific Sea Nettles. So it's not from the Gulf. These no. are from the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. Look at how big they look. They look like they have tumors. It is a tumor coming out of you. That's right. No, it is not a tumor. It is not a tumor. This is Master Allison. It's an oil rig, Texas drill. So the reefs attach to the, to the oil, the, the, the drill bit. I see. Nice. Okay. Diarrhea water with green water. Nice. Yeah. Coral reef systems are beneficial to the ecosystem and the tourism industry. North Pacific seals. Harbor seal from California. California sea lion, like Allison from. Oh! Hey, the people from your parts. <laughs> Cold and dry. Well, no, they're not dry. The humidity factor is pretty good there. I know. But it's cold. Oh! I love yeah, I know, me too. Well, the humidity is 100% in here. That's mato and ravi. Ravioli and tomato. That's what their names are. That's the name? Yeah, right here. <laughs> mato and ravi for short. Rescued and rehabilitated in California and deemed non releasable. They were one year old. Ravi is light gray and quite small. Mato is bigger and darker. He's also blind in his right eye. Oh, there he is. There. This motto is the darker one. Oh, down. I can't 
Candia Travels Texas. Patrick Starr's underside. That's what he looks like what when he's... pose! Here's Patrick Starr. From Bikini Bottom. There you are. Wow. Hey, that's a Whoa. motto. That's a motto. Thank you. Mato's has uh, only one eye. He's blind in one. Ravioli. I don't know which one is this one. The small white one. Hello, Mato. He's totally talking to me, man. He did say to me when I was up top, he said, you can see us better down bottom. And he was right. Hello. Hello, blind in one eye. He's totally hitting the glass. You feel that vibration? Guys, he, okay, that's Tomato. That's his name. He is literally hitting me and going, boom, I can feel it on the glass. Oh, that's neat. How great is this? Wow. Hi, Mato. Boom, hit again. from under the sea. Okay. There's Ravi. Ravioli. Good to see you again, Mato, with your one eye. Oh, of course, you can notice that the skeletons look much like canines or dogs. And so they are called sea mosaic of habitats. Oh, look, manta ray, manta ray. We didn't see these guys. Normally you can pet them. Kind of like fish, how beautiful is that? This is really great. Totally worth it. Oh, look at that. I felt them before. They're like real, like the rubber used to work on and working toward is take care of the ocean as if your life depends on it. Because it does. I agree with Dr. Sylvia Earl. Our planet is made up primarily of, of ocean. We need to take care of it. Oh, yeah, look at it. We're going to go into the tunnel. Look at that. Ah. Oh, wow. Oh, neat. all this in the background pretty cool you can see behind me of course there's nobody right now put that nose up. it's nice to just sit here well the humidity is pretty good in the, here right now with the air conditioning right so that's right temperature is great in here 
in the gift shop. I'm so close to it. Look at that. That's funny. That's pretty cool. Little jellyfish. I need to go to the rainforest before five. No more stars. No more lids. Cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger. Oh. oh boy. And we are off to the rainforest. You said go this way, right? To the right? I think so. Okay. Head over there. Oh, it's not that hot actually. It feels it feels 80-ish, but it's actually in the 90s. Because of the humidity awareness. It's the right humidity. Look at these cabbage palms. Oh, look. Carl from CCI from Celebrity Center National needs to trim these guys. <laughs> Carl, I know you watch once in a while, you guys. I'm going to land here. In Tropic Galveston Island, we have these trees that look like evergreens. Isn't that wild right next Entrance to us? Entrance to the Rainforest Pyramid. Dino's live! Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. We'll see if we... Dippin' Dots NASA Ice Cream. Here's a real-life Jurassic Park in Texas. But since you guys have seen the movie, we're not going to... Oh, it's nice and cool. Nice and cool in here. Oh my gosh. Hello. Who's that? All right. All right. All right. All right. I wonder where he got that. <laughs> Those of you who know me know. Here at the at the humidity awareness tactic. Oh yeah. Listen up. Wow. We're inside the pyramid. Oh, I used to have one of these in Hawaii when I lived in Maui. I loved him. He walked around my my house and ate flies. Oh, wow. Gecko. geckos. Good luck, gecko. Look at how shiny that frog is. If you lick it, you'll turn into Homer Simpson drugged up. Remember when Homer Simpson? Welcome back. All right, there, he's just laying there, this sloth. There's his body. He's not, this is what he's supposed to do. of the uh, giant otters. Look at the nice digs, man. Look at this. We're going into the pyramid. Going into the pyramid. We're ending our trip. This is our end of our journey. We're ending our journey. Thanks for joining us at Candid Travels, Texas. This is the end of our journey in the Rainforest Pyramid in Galveston, Texas.
He just got here today. He's his first day on display, oh, so he's a little Jeff bit shy. Familiar. I used to have these. Oh no, it's not Jeff. Chivado, chivado. Cool. Weapons, tactics, tactical combat. Now we're going down. Sixty. That's canopy. Emergent canopy of the rainforest. Under story, zero to 60 feet. Okay, so we go down. Forest floor, zero feet. Night fire with one L. Okay, here we go. Rain. Oh, this is not hot here. No. The Asian rainforest is not hot. The other place was 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, I love these spiders. Spiders! Kahuna oh, oh. Omaka. Hawaiian tea. The tea plant brings luck. Ancient Hawaiians steamed it to relieve colds. And they prepared beverages and desserts from sachi roots. Yes, I used a lot of tea leaves yeah. when I was in that and that. There it is. Bam, 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 those three. I guess Hawaii is considered Asian rainforest. That is pretty. Thanks again for joining us. I can't Komodo dragon. They do well here in Texas. He's big. Oh, wow. I'm literally... Wow. Thank you. Wow, oh, look at that beautiful thing. Thanks for joining us at Canada Travels Texas. Remember to thumbs up, like, and subscribe and share. From the Asian rainforest, we might see monkeys later. But thanks again. Friend, the king is now posing for everyone on the log. Look at that. Once again, thanks again for uh, joining us at Canada Travel mm -hmm. Texas. Here in Galveston Island, this is the uh, re Asian rainforest. Look at him. He said, come in closer and take a good picture of my eye. My red eye. Are you going to fly the red eye today? I see your red eye. Flying the red eye? <laughs> Find the red eye. Find the red eye. Look at that red eye, man. Wow. Zoom in on your red eye, you say. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Here you Come go. Right here. And right here. I'm right by them. My feet are right here. White face Saki monkey. Kiki Yaki Sak Saksu. Sock it to me. Sock it to you. Look at that. Oh my gosh, there he is. There he is. Wow, look. Look at that catfish. This turtle's pretty quick under the water. Oh, it looks totally like old world. Damn, look at all this. And then, look up. Look at the size of that thing. The fish are there. Share, like, subscribe. Thanks for joining us. From Moody Gardens Rainforest, Asian Rainforest, in Galveston Island, Texas. Aloha!
Galveston Island. We're on the ninth floor. And 